I loved books before I knew they were books. My folks read to me. My mother was a wonderful interpretive reader. She was a school teacher. So when I was five, I got my first library card. I was so proud because I could print K-A-R-E-N and see it on my card. That was the Ventura County Library in Southern California. And that was my hometown. I was always a reader. I could be lost, you know. My mother called me, called me to come set the table. And then she'd be annoyed, you know. I called and called. And I'd say, I didn't hear you. I don't know that kind of focus that I felt for books. Now, that is carried over into my acting where I am not easily distracted uh, during a performance. When I was 19 years old, I realized this is it. I have to do this. And I called my parents long distance, you know, which was expensive then, and said, I know what I want to do. And when they heard what it was, my mother said, now, Karen, let's not discuss this on the telephone. And when we got home, I told them, this is it. I left school and joined a, a theater in San Francisco. And I was cast in a main stage production of Henry IV, part one. And to me, that was fantastic because I was with all the big guys, you know. I am professional actors, wonderful actors and actresses. I did Cymbeline which is, mm, they call it the female Hamlet. Very, very exciting part. And I had fantastic leading men. I had uh, Sam Waterston and Christopher Walken. I think this book is almost required reading for an actor to see what that journey can be, to see what the demands are, what it is to audition, what it is to train. You know, a lot of people don't know what the training is. Uh, and I think it's good for people to have a chance to see the journey all the way through. And then, of course, it's so different working in television from the theater. I started to have trouble with alcohol, uh, I would say, right away, uh, maybe when I was 19. Finally, during Little House on the Prairie, I hit my bottom. Thank God. So then my life could turn around. Because you can't fix something if you don't know what it is, you know? And I feel this incredible gratitude. Really, it was alcoholism and hitting bottom that made me teachable and made me open to a spiritual life in a deep way. It's a wonderful time for me to count these blessings, you know, and there are so many blessings that have come to me because of recovery. I mean, this book wouldn't exist. How would I ever have been able to tell my story in an honest way if I hadn't gotten recovery?